Hi folks, I uh, wanted to talk to you today about a simple um, jewel thief flashlight circuit uh, shown here that uses a uh, ultra capacitor to run the flashlight. This technology is by no means new and uh, the reason I'm doing this is just it's a fun and easy project to do and it provides something that's very useful i.e. a flashlight that can be charged up in minutes uh, from a uh, cigarette lighter adapter in your car and then provide bright uh, output for hours. Um, so let me just uh, talk to you a little bit about this circuit here. This is a standard uh, LM2596 DC to DC step up step down inverter. You put 2 to 15 volts DC in you get 0 0.5 to 30 volts out, uh, DC out and it's very uh, good uh, uh, error on that. You know, it's almost you know just a few percent off. Um, you know, it's got a trimmer on it so you can set the trimmer to uh, less than 2.7 volts which is the maximum voltage on your ultra capacitor. So yeah, I've set it to 2.6 volts. This uh, buck is 3 amps maximum rating. Um, so in order to uh, not to exceed this rating I put a 1 ohm 10 watt wire round resistor. Uh, to prevent uh, blowing this uh, inverter, there's a uh, resist. Uh, there's a um, diode here. This is a one N five eight two one. Prevents uh, back discharge of the uh, charged ultra capacitor through the inverter when the circuit is not uh, powered. Got a switch in here, and then this is just a standard jewel thief, which is twelve turns of twenty two gauge wire on a 2.2 uh, centimeter uh, powdered iron or ferrite toroid. Uh, the one at the, uh, the transistor is not, you can use pretty much anything. I'm using a 2N4401 but you can use any other um, N-type transistor. I'm using a 1K resistor which is also standard. And then these are, all, these are uh, bright white LEDs. Uh, you can connect them in parallel, you can connect a whole series of them in parallel and they'll work fine. I think the one I have in my uh, setup is uh, 35,000 uh, millicandles or something around that range. And uh, this thing can be constructed in just a, a few hours and it's a great little project. And here are some of the finished uh, products. Here's one of the ones put together. You've got your cigarette lighter adapter here your ultra capacitor, 400 farads, put it on a piece of perf board, put your uh, wire around resistor, um, the um, toroid, I think this one's like a powder iron, toroid, a switch, and then um, there's that uh, high power diode there, there's the buck converter, 1k resistor, and there's the, um, it's the diode, um, for uh, charging up of the uh, ultra capacitor and preventing uh, back discharge. And let's test this thing out, see how it how it looks. It's really, really bright. This one was charged for, for just a few minutes. And you can see this thing uh, provides a lot of light and it, and it will last for uh, quite a while. So uh, ultra bright white uh, LED there. Here's another one I put together. Let me just show you this. Here's one, uh, it's got a much smaller toroid. I think that's just a few millimeters across, and it's got much narrow, much uh, thinner wire on it. Using two of those uh, bright LEDs, it's the same one N four four zero one transistor. And this thing's really bright as well. Cigarette lighter adapter. There's the ultra capacitor. There's the uh, one ohm ten watt resistor. So these things are really handy and uh, they can be um, housed in, you know, you can put them in a plastic or metal housing uh, to make it look more like an actual flashlight. And uh, these are, are useful things to have in your uh, glove compartment of your car um, for uh, a number of uses. So I just thought I'd show you these and uh, if you uh, enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, that would make me happy. Alright, thanks a lot. Bye.